Yeah, what's up, everybody? How we doing? How we doing? Brother Man Loves Movies. Roll the review. Let's go. So, guys, just recently checked out a horror slasher. It's called, as you can see on the screen, Thanksgiving. It's directed by Eli Roth, who has made many great horror films like the Hostel um, sequels, the Hostel movies, Hostel movies, H-O-S-T-E-L. But let's go ahead and talk about Thanksgiving. Came out last year, um, came out in November. Um, this movie, I felt like going in that I was hoping for something really, really good because lately horror movies have been hit or miss. And so with Thanksgiving, it really opened up intense, um, more intense than scary. When you look at um, the Black Friday event, that was just cinematography um, plus 10. It was a very, very, um, I mean, the best way I can describe that whole piece of footage was that it really stood out and set the tone for the movie. Um, I knew that it would play a big role in the movie, the Black Friday event that went wrong for those that seen it. Um, countless lives was lost um, all over a prank because um, the one girl uh, she let, was it the girl or the security? She let her friends in and the crowd saw it and it just caused a big stampede. And so, yeah, that was really, really a big, important piece in the film itself. I knew that it would have a lot to do with, you know, the setting and tone of the film. Um, and so from that point on, um, we go like a year later and they're talking about continuing the Black Friday event even after the tragedy had just occurred. So, you know, that was kind of rough to take it's like what are you you're still you're gonna do this again anyway after this big event goes wrong and so um some of the people begin to uh die brutally kind of like final destination except for it's at the hands of a deranged maniac that's wearing a john carver mask and dressed like a pilgrim and so it's basically like a who's the killer kind of thing it's like a scream kind of vibe in terms of Let's find out who's doing this. And so, you know, that makes you wonder as you look at the cast of characters who let me speak and touch on that briefly. Um, I don't really recognize a lot of these actors. I feel like I've seen a few of them um, in some movies, but for the most part, I, I don't really recognize the cast, but they played a good role um, nonetheless. Um, I really did enjoy the film. Um, even though it, it kind of lacks some of the star sizzle that you would want. Um, and for me, you know, the story was well put together. Um, but you would see that the waitress in um, one of the scenes where somebody is um, taken out, she's uh, brutally taken out. <laughs> but I want to say this. Um, one of the biggest things for me, a pet peeve, but I still watch the movies anyway just because, I can't stand when someone is hiding from the killer, from the madman, from the axe wielding, knife wielding, whatever their weapon of choice is. I just can't stand when someone's hiding and they just instantly say, OK, it's quiet out there. I think I'm going to go ahead and come out like you're going to come out from your hiding spot. I mean, in real life, you wouldn't come out that fast. I mean, the lady, the waitress literally comes right up out of the um, the closet that she's hiding in in a near-death attempt that she almost, you know, gets, you know, taken out in. And so she, she leaves out of the building, doesn't have her keys that she's fumbling for in her purse. And so, yeah, that's a, uh, a gory death for her that involves a garbage can and a vehicle, um, which leads me to say that some of these um, deaths in this movie were really well thought out and put together. And then some of them were just kind of like, huh? Like that happened really quickly and fast. And it wasn't a creative way of taking out someone. Um, you know, all in all, I feel like this movie was good. I feel like the previews made it look like it was going to be fantastic. Um, 
some of the people that reviewed it made me feel like it was going to be absolutely great. But this film, for me, was just good. Um, like, you know, that's about as far as I can I can say. Um, and you guys let me know, like, do you, do you guys recognize anybody from this cast? You had uh, Patrick Dempsey. I swear I heard of that name. Um, he turned out to be the killer. You had Jessica that was played by Nell Ver- Verlicu. Um, Gabby was played by Addison Ray. That name sounds familiar. Gina Jershon also sounds familiar. Um, I think she used to be an actress. Also, Jenna Warren and, uh, and Rick Hoffman. Um, I feel like I've seen Rick Hoffman in some shows before. And it's very possible that I did. But, you know, in terms of having a big star cast, it's like that. But overall, look, this movie is it's not really bad at all. It's just not quite what I thought it would be. Um, in terms of being scary, um, it's never really scary. Um, I will say the death of the character, you, you, Yulia, um, that was kind of that was kind of rough because, you know, her boyfriend and her friend were rushing to the scene to try to go ahead and get her um, away from being captive to the killer. And, you know, she, she dies in brutal fashion. So that was rough to take and rough on her boyfriend. Um, you know, all in all, um, I just I'm just not sure how many stars I want to give this film. I mean, like the, if you look at the conclusion of the film. And yes, I'm doing like some spoilers here, but, you know, hopefully you guys have seen the movie already. But one of the things with me is that I just, I mean, the conclusion was just a little bit, you know, clunky to me, just a little bit wonky, just cluttered. Um, You know, he took everybody and then he starts doing like really grotesque things like serving up um, Jessica's uh, father's uh, new wife as the as a Thanksgiving turkey and just started kind of running off the rails a little bit. But I mean, it's not, it's not bad. Um, like I say, it's not a bad movie. It's just like if for me, it wouldn't be like one of my top 10 movies or of the year or not even top 10 horror movies, like possibly because we'd have to look and see what all came out. But, um, I just, I think this is just a good film guys. I don't think it's great. Like the conclusion was not horrible, but I just thought it was getting a little bit too, too out there. Um, like the, the parade scene just felt like it was thrown together really fast. So the, so the killer could, you know, take everybody hostage, you know, um, it just felt like it was rushed and the conclusion, the way that Jessica uncovered the killer, um, I thought that was pretty nice. Um, there's nice and nice and strange and weird movies, move, moments, not movements, moments all wrapped in this movie. So, guys, what do y'all think about this Thanksgiving film? Um, I think I pretty much said what I wanted to say about it. Racing my mind right now to see if there's anything I'm leaving out. But ultimately, guys, I will probably give this film three stars, um, not four, not five. Um, three stars because it was it was well put together. Um, it definitely had its moments. Um, the Black Friday scene was definitely something to to marvel at. Um, definitely something to behold, should I say? Um, and I thought for a while the killer's uh, identity was was held pretty well, so I thought that was nice. But some of the kills just feel rushed. The parade sequencing feels very rushed. Um, some things such as just towards the end grotesque for no reason. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about Thanksgiving three stars from your boy, brother, man loves movies. So, Hey, check out Thanksgiving. I would say, check it out. Um, if you like slasher films, horror films, uh, definitely give this one a, a, um, a once over, but I just don't think that it has replay value. And that's the biggest thing for me. I'm not going to be seeking out to watch Thanksgiving, but Hey, a sequel has been green lighted. Um, so yeah, um, not the worst movies, not the best of movies. Let me know y'all opinion about it. Interesting hearing what y'all got to say. I'm out.